Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another trek through the dungeon. Um, I've decided to try to play an ogre. Uh, there's some good thing reasons to do so, which I will explain shortly. Uh, let's call him Clug. It's like uh, anything that rhymes with Ugg spells ogre to me. Uh, reasons I'm thinking ogre. Oh, actually, there we go. Reasons I'm thinking ogre are as follows. Unlike a, tr it's challenging, no doubt. I'm I'm not playing it because it's easy. I'm playing it because it's hard. But uh, reasons I like ogre. Dodging minus one. That's not a terrible defense stat. HP plus three. That is fantastic. I'm so used to playing uh, HP minus races, like the Deep Elf minus two, or the Spriggan minus what three, or the Felid minus four. Octopode was the closest I came to playing normal of late, which is minus one. Minotaurs get like plus two, I think. No, plus one. So, you know, that's reasonable, and it feels great. So I can't imagine what a HP plus three ogre at high level looks like. And the prospect of getting an ogre to high level and being such an HP tank fascinates me. Uh, unlike trolls, they are allowed to wear hide armors, uh, hide-based armors like the dragon armor. So that's something to look forward to, eventually. Fighting of plus three means I will actually hit that HP cap total very quickly. Also, while they have poly-negative aptitudes for many things, the uh, maces and flails is plus three, which is fantastic. And being a giant race, they can use the giant spike club. All of this so far sounds good. Plus one to throwing means I have some initial early game uh, bonus to certain weaponry. And then there's the iffy part. Magic is clearly discouraged, much like for a minotaur. But unlike for a minotaur where even the spellcasting ability is uphill, they get that for free. So as long as they don't try and be like polycasters, they do have some ability to get into that whole magic game. I'm curious to see just how reachable that is. Uh, my initial thought is go spellcasting and charms to pick up some basics like regeneration and uh, Shroud of Galubria Repel Missiles maybe, and all of that can be found in the Scald starting stat. So running this as a Scald is tempting. However, until I'm actually competent at the game, we're going to be going Hunter, because the Large Rock set will get you started as makeshift magic up off the bat, which requires minimal training, and can allow for ranged attacks. So fighting is a yes, throwing is a yes, Dodging and stealth is a no. Dodging, maybe. I'd rather focus on fighting skill for now. I don't anticipate dodging very much yet. Uh, ooh, sweet, a nice club. Uh, I do want to train maces and flails hardcore, but until I'm ready to switch to it, the short blade, quite frankly, will have better to hit, and that's going to be more important. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I hate this start. There's no easy way across, is there? I guess this is a slow way across. Or you could just descend a floor and take on the harder next floor. You know, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna descend a floor, and if I can't get up quickly, I'll just, you know, I'll take the hard route. route. Trolls can actually starve to death and die in that opening if they don't go down, so... Yeah. Notice that I'm using my dagger but training my mace. God, I love the new training system. Okay, not so new anymore. It's been there forever, but, you know, the training system, I think version 0 0.9 began to introduce it. it makes so much more sense gameplay-wise. Okay, beginning to run away, using my rocks to boost my DPS. And that's that's kind of the logic behind this opening. Uh, oh, God, I will so die against Sigmund. But he's already seen me, which means I'm dead anyway. Might as well rock him to death. Okay, that worked. Uh, for this first run, I'm not going to go Intelligence, which would be normally be my preference, because Intelligence would allow me to, um, uh, thingamabob, potentially get some base magic going. I get Strength every third level as an Ogre for free, so I'm actually going to train Dex this first time to help with my dodging skills, and you'll notice that my Strength still went up pretty nicely. Uh, now, check me on this. That's considered a pole arm, right? Yeah, it is. Well, it's usually pretty terrible. I assume it's not that different in this case, and I'm not going to be using it, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Things I'm going to have to remember, I mean, it is ultimately possible for me to decide to just run an ogre the way I would run a minotaur. You know, lots of health, big fighting abilities, and splitting stuff in half with axes. I'm going to avoid doing that purely because 
I don't want this to be yet another bog standard run. But if I find that I'm having a really hard time getting an ogre off the ground any other way, I will just run the berserker. As it stands, I'd like the hunter of Okawaru style, so I can potentially be gifted better maces, potentially be gifted better, uh, r more rocks, that kind of thing. What other armor slots are unopened to me? Wow, no gloves and no boots. That's a, that's a real kick in the pants. So, uh, yeah, I guess true majory is going to be very, uh, very hard for them to pull off. Come closer. Boom, you're dead. Next. Because, you know, true majory, you kind of want to have lots of different slots so you can keep getting lots of buffs. God damn it. Seriously, the same door twice. But hey, I was able to take out Sigmund quickly enough. That that certainly was nice. Ooh, javs, javelins, javs, javelins, javelins, javelins. And poisoned ones at that. Excellent, excellent. Uh, we're starving, so just eat a meat ration real quick. Alright, my club skill is quickly outpacing my... Oh, it's I am using a club already, okay. I was I thought I was, like, side training it. But nope, I'm training my main weapon. And my edge people is already 45. That's just beautiful, actually. Now I think about it. Boom. Boom, baby. Okay, floor is clear, next floor, floor is clear, next floor, boom. So yeah, uh, this is the problem with running an ogre, is it's very easy to get into a sense of passiveness in the way you're playing. Oh, sweet, a mace. Because things keep going fine until something hits you or you miss an attack that takes forever to reload, and then you die. So gotta make sure that you're playing correctly, no matter how tempting it is to just, you know, wing it. Right now I'm on autopilot, wearing out my, well, my macros for the O key and the tab key. I guess I'm using the actual tab key. Seriously? This thing's not dying? Quiver me some large rocks. Can't throw this back at me. Perfect. Minimize the number of poisonous things hitting me at once. Excellent. Uh, are we still training throwing? Turn it off. I don't know how high it has to get to be effective, but as of now, it's still massacring everything I attack with it, so it's excellent. We're going to move in the direction of the gray rat, take it out first. The rest of these rats should go down in short order. We're going to start using rocks. God damn it, five rocks failed to kill this thing. Son of a bitch. Okay, we got them all, barely. Uh, I would love to just test drink my heal potion, but with only two potions, there's a good chance I don't even have one yet. Uh, also, the sewer tends to give you that, so... Shout once to attract the local wildlife. There they are. Now, as an ogre, I can stand in deep water with no penalty to my attack. It's not like you lose your footing or whatever. You know what? I want to bait out the rest of the exploding darts, so here. Oh, maybe that, that was his last one. You can't cross deep water, unfortunately, but you can stand in the shallow water without penalty. Okay, they clearly know I'm here. I just need them to come around now. There. One of them got around. And there's a jackal behind him, too. Excellent. Hopefully their footing will be unstable and mine won't. There we go. Uh, second dex boost while my per 3 will give me strength. And after this, I might just switch over to strength since I'm primarily a mason rock ch chucker. Okay, one of these is likely to be very beneficial. Potion of curing, great. And one of these could very well be the potion of cure mutation. Nope, gain intelligence. That's also quite good. Quite good. Uh, since I'm probably not going to live long enough to worry about mutation problems, let's just go ahead and drink this now instead of waiting for more mutation security. You know, I'm in no anticipation of getting mutations and losing mutations and then using it, which would be the only reason to hold off. 
Another thing, the version, I want to say 0 0.13, maybe it was 0 0.12, but certainly 0 0.13 introduces Potion of Beneficial Mutation. It's just a great idea. Instead of getting a flat plus one to a stat, you randomly will draw from the list of good mutations. But, of course, you might not be benefited by it if it's a good mutation you don't want. Like Strength minus one, Dex plus one. Keep eating. Ooh, what's that? It's a glowing stave of crushing, nonetheless. Uh, I'll stick with the mace, because that's what I'm training, but yeah. The reason I threw a rock is when you see one orc, there's probably more. And I want to soften up the crowd, but it was unnecessary. Also, my rocks have such a low percent chance of, of breaking, and such a high weight associated with them, that I'm more likely than not going to find another rock before I actually have a significant diminish to the number of rocks I'm carrying with me. Okay, that's a lot of orcs. So again, logic of back off. Let's fight them one at a time. Plenty of room to recover. I want to rock your world. And pound, pound, pound till you die. I only see one, and I already saw the other two, so it's probably not a third one. Or a fourth one. I think I just lost a rock. Yep, I just lost a rock. So down to four. Which actually does matter, because if you if you have five rocks in your possession, you can throw five and then worry about fighting. If you only have four, you can only throw four. Also, in terms of prolonged fights... In terms of prolonged fights, the more you have, the longer you can maintain it. Your aggression level. I netted him, and I still couldn't manage to hit him. Still, poison... Poison can be uh, made less potent. Potent in terms of dangerous to you, by having a larger HP pool. And plus three to fighting, plus three to my HP, makes that possible as an ogre. Ooh, wonder what the Polish trident looks like. Of the original sin. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, useless to me, though, because pain brand requires necromancy to really be of use. And levitation evocable, while kind of cool, admittedly, I don't anticipate being in a situation where levitation is pertinent for most of the game. Or for the early game, at least. We want to rock... Okay, we don't long... We don't... We want to rock this for the massive DPS bonus. The more turns you spend next to an Orc Priest, the faster your game goes from being fine to being over. How are we doing for training? Maces and Flails of 7, Fighting of 3. I think this is the, core th the key thing. Train your core skills first. We can worry about branching out and trying new shit later. It is the same logic that makes me question the the intelligence of running a Scald, which is the, the build I would really like to try with this guy. I would say if I run a Scald, what I should do is of, pretend I'm basically just a melee fighter for the early game. And use net... You know, I, I'm not required to have the big rocks that I've been using. Oh god, this looks like a crazy youth entrance. If so, net into rocks will be my preference. Okay, just rocks then. Boom. Drop the nets. Uh, he's got a cloak? Excellent. Crazy youth. All, I, I don't know if it's guaranteed or just basically always happens, but he's, he's usually where I go to for my cloak if I don't have one yet. Oh, you were made a big mistake, you inept door, door, door mimic. You revealed yourself. Okay, those arrows of frost are going to hurt like a bitch. But, you know, if he comes into melee range, <laughs> well, all of a sudden his arrows don't matter now, do they? Let's go ahead and switch over to basic javelins for these minor damages that I'm dealing to chase enemies out. I'll switch to rocks intentionally when I'm in the need of them. Like here, I don't want to fight an ogre head-to-head -head as a tie. I'd like to be ahead when I do so. This is a giant club, not a giant spiked club. Minus 6 to accuracy, plus 20 to damage, 
170 weapon delay. Compare that to my mace. Plus 3 to accuracy, plus 8 to damage, 140% weapon delay. Uh, I'm not comfortable that switching to a, a giant spiked mace without at least having some significant reduction in the damage speed is good. Let's make sure that attack speed is at least average with it before I switch over to it. Below average, yeah. So let's make sure that the attack speed comes to at least average. For that to happen, I will just need to continue training. Normally I would want to get it all the way up to quick or something, but think of it this way. This weapon is a one-hit kill weapon, the Giant Spike Club, uh, for many enemies. Hell, you can one-shot a death yak under uh, under good circumstances, so... So you don't necessarily need a lot of, uh, You don't necessarily need to get in as much many attacks per round or whatever. You can just, uh, per AUM. <laughs> You can just get one good attack in here and there and then be happy. But given the high miss rate, the minus six to accuracy, yeah. I will hang on to the giant club, though. I mean, make no mistake. Hell, at the very least, I can use it as a throwing weapon. It's got to be at least as good as a rock, right? <laughs> okay, probably not. Uh, bat! Okay, that one's dead. Next floor. Not gonna lie to you, so far this run has been very straightforward. Uh, oh, javelins to so soften up the necrophage. Soften it to death. That works for me, too. Thanks to the way the regeneration formula incorporates your health total, uh, regeneration meaning you're getting your health back, it actually does feel like I'm using a regeneration property from time to time. I'm going to switch over to javelins of poison just because these orcs are proving quite tricky. And I would like to make sure they die before I do. I managed to get flanked by all three of them. I guess I was more concerned about the centaur at the back of my head. And so I was willing to run right into the middle of these three rather than explore southward. Which was a mistake, but yeah. But yeah, it does feel like I have regeneration on. I wonder if I do have some form of uh, regeneration that, that, that is aiding me. Oh, did I at some point unwield my mace and just forget to put it back? That would suck. Nice spells. Wow, flight is actually not beyond the pale of theoretical possibility of learning. And that's with no spellcasting ability whatsoever. Interesting. I will have to bear that in mind. I have no idea what that is. I guess my int intelligence of 11 entitles me. Totally just speared the wizard. In fact, if I went with a mage-type god, maybe I could actually make this work. Focus on poisoning the big guy and killing the little guy. So, you know what? At this point, I don't care which of you gets hit. Okay, with him weakened to the point of death, we will wield the mace and attempt to kill him. This is a great mace, which is better than a mace in terms of just being a bigger, heavier weapon. Attack speed will be below average. Compare that to the giant club, where the attack speed will be below average. Compare that to... Hmm. Alright, new plan. We're going to try this giant club with its below average attack speed and just hope that it works out. I suspect it will. I think I'm being overly concerned about being fast and forgetting just how effective my... My damage will be. How do you like being poisoned, you fucking snake? No, yes. Okay. So if I'm constantly facing weight limits, let's drop some of the stuff I don't use. I will drop a basic mace and an orcish club and another orcish club. I have plenty of throwing weapons without needing to resort to impromptu ones. Wow! That was a one-hit kill. Uh... Yeah, I did totally underestimate just what a difference it makes to be able to brutalize something in one hit. Miss, 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 kill. Miss, miss, kill. Okay, I'm beginning to get a sense of what the luck feels like here. Sometimes you just kill things and sometimes you don't. Get the giant club, uh, no, skip that. Go ahead and test my wand here. Wand of fire. Excellent. 
If I ever need to hit all enemies on a line, I know what to do now. Hey, wouldn't you know it? I need to hit all enemies on a line, Pykel. Pierce. Let's go ahead and back off. Give them all some room to come into my hallway. Hit all enemies on a line. That kills Pykel. Uh, strength will be boosted automatically, but we're also going to boost it manually just because now I'm beginning to work with these really heavy weapons. Glowing whip, animal skin, big corpse, little corpse, glowing whip, nothing. Okay, I really do need to find an Okawaru altar before I run out of low, low danger piety sources. Low danger, but considered by game to be higher danger piety sources. Oh, Ijib, you shouldn't have. Okay, they're all down, and I'm poisoned. But you know what? Poison with 89 health, and it's not the... 89 health? Wow. I'm pretty sure Shadowblade only got to this point somewhere about nine hours into the game. Granted, his ability to kill at range... Actually, his ability to kill at range wasn't that much better than mine is right now, relatively speaking. I mean, I hurl rocks. Things die. Doesn't even take a mana bar. Okay, we're going to definitely use this corner so that nothing with smite can get me. Case in point, the green guy. Come around. Focus down the biggest threats first. They're all down. Okay, we are cleared. Right, keep the magic dart blocker between me and the magic dart shooter. Now we just pummel the magic dart shooter. Okay, this is a bad situation on account of the shape of the hall. Perfect, now they're all down. It must be like an orcish fiesta parade entrance thingy here or something, because there's a lot of orcs. Orcish fiesta parade, yes, that's definitely what I mean, meant when I said the orcish uh, halls. Okay, that guy is truly scary. He can mythic me from range, which would make me confused, and as an ogre, quite likely to kill myself with my own weapon should I try to do anything. I'm going to take down the orc and back off. When I'm good and ready, I will hurl rocks from range to attempt to take down the, uh, the, the swamp drake. And for the, in order for this to work, I will need to actually have the rocks. That's one, two, three... For Javelin of Poison is fine. Done. He's down. He's not going to be poisoned, but I didn't want to take the time to switch weapons and let him get out of range. Apparently my accuracy throwing while confused isn't actually is not that bad. Uh, nobody's more surprised than I, but okay. Quaff one of these. Potion of Confusion. Quaff one of these. Potion of Paralysis. Yep. This is a piss you off vault. Just paralyze myself again, confuse myself again, and you know what? Become even more confused. Okay, just because I like drinking stuff. In fact, let's try out a few of these other potions just because I can. Anything I have two of pretty much is what I'm going for here. Potion of water, why not? Okay. Uh, identify something now. And identify the last one. Okay. Bunch of potions handled. Let's move on. Floor is handled. Moving on. I think this is the last floor that the ecumenical temple can appear on, so I got screwed over with a late temple, but now that I'm here... Oh, for the love of God. Seriously, no Okuwaru. Okay, thank God. Okuwaru. I was about to say, I got screwed over with no Okuwaru either. That would have been too much. But, uh, nope. We got an Okuwaru. Uh, pummel, 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 pummel. Oh my God, you're about to kill me. Back off and rocks. Back off. Just back off and run. Don't don't die. For the love of God, don't die. Rock, rock, rock. Okay, we got him. Sacrifice him. Now that I can start doing blood sacrifices, it'll be very helpful. Apparently I left the corpse that can still be sacrificed. So let's go find it. Oh, rotting now. Great. Well, you know what? Why don't you go to it anyway? 
And there's nothing to butcher here, so it's already completely decomposed. Well, that was a waste of a trip. Let's, uh... Let's just go back downstairs, I guess. Take you down, heal. Attack speed is now average. Okay, so... Maces and flails up to 12 is not unreasonable to get this to happen. I still am looking for a better uh, weapon, however, the giant spiked club. This is offering me level 1 spells. Level 1 spells actually might be viable. And, uh... Wow. Not gonna lie to you. Okay, this only works with a short blade, so never mind. Otherwise, that would have been cool. Uh, but Corona? There might be something to that. Uh, it makes an enemy easier to hit, and I'm desperately in need of that particular talent. So let's give spellcasting a little bit, because I have a plus two on it. Let's get it up two levels and see what it does to my 34%. If it looks like it's going to work, then uh, we might actually try that. Oh my god, I am fucked. Get the bee up with me and run. Uh, large rocks from, rain from no range, and javelins from range. This should be, I should be okay without having to use a curing. Do I have curings? I have plenty of curings. Good. So I won't be dying to poison anytime soon. I will be very hungry, however, and there's not much I can do about that but go through my perma food, which mercifully I have a lot of. Uh, eat. Bread ration. Different or different staircase is necessary at this point. Are you kidding me? It's always like that. The moment you spend. Okay, first level of spell casting. Thirty-four percent, completely unchanged. Okay, well. You know what? It's a pure hex, right? Let's throw some good money after bad into hexes as well. I do love... It's just I really like the idea of being able to go Corona against, say, an imp, and suddenly my giant spike club will be accurate against it. It is, it is the precise time in which I would care about using a Corona effectively. I walked into a teleport trap that put me right back in the death trap I was in before. Let's make for the staircase and then pull, and then we'll worry about what we're going to do. Fire is the obvious correct move here, but it is out. Uh, I don't think it can kill me in one turn, so I'm going to quiver rocks and then start hurling. That's all of them. Giant club. Should finish it off. Uh, hurl. Okay. Now we need to be very careful not to die to poison. 35 health is still plenty, however. It's the reason I focus trained my, my health quite as much as I did. Rock to take down the zombie scale. If only I had corpses. In fact, do I have any corpses to sacrifice that I just forgot about? Yeah, I do. I have to remember to corpse sacrifice more. Are you considered my ally? No. I'm just wondering whether or not Okawaru would punish me for killing him and sacrificing his body. Okay, we're just going to immediately focus the bee. And then sack it. Because, yep, the ice beast will come back for me anyway. I can now gain fighting, which is great. Uh, how am I doing for my spell casting? Wow! Just one level in hexes and, 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 one point, and two levels in spell casting has dropped it down so much. Uh, it's 10% better. Perfect. We actually got Corona off against the bee. Which almost made it possible for me to hit it. Oh, you just come at me, bro. You ain't no bee. You got no ability to run. 21%. Drop. Turn that off. Yeah, wow, that's kind of impressive. Wow, that orc totally just appeared in the middle of nowhere. Okay, we're doing a little bit better. Uh, get you nice and corona before I start hitting you. Take down. Okay, wonder what this could be. Silence. Well, it doesn't, doesn't really affect me much, so I'll continue doing what I'm doing. Thump, thump. Okay concern. Oh, wait. Rocks probably can't be swallowed, right? They cannot. Either that or he died at the same time. But no, I'm fairly positive stones can't be swallowed anyway. Oh, wouldn't you look at that. I think I can take this guy on straight up in an ogre-to-ogre -ogre fight. 
yeah, he's he's no bad for me. Uh, okay, so there's a store in there. And these are darts of dispersal, so I'd rather you not waste any more of them. Just give them to me. Thank you. With my marginal training skill, it is possible I can distort something away. Wand of draining does not work against these walls, naturally. I have no means of getting inside. Okay, there's a store called a store of pet rocks. If I can get in there, I guarantee you that it's going to have at least a couple large rocks I can use. So, all of a sudden, getting inside that store is a priority for me. Well, not a priority, but something I value heavily. If I get any digging source or disintegration, I'm still going back for it. Yeah, there's no way in hell I'm ever going to be able to hit that guy. Ooh, wow, that would have been painful if it had hit me. For the love of God, focus on the hippogriff. It's the thing that's pecking and clawing you to death. That's a better target than a random butterfly. I have got to stop butchering corpses just because that's my instinct. I can actually potentially sack them. I gotta remember to do that. Anyway. Uh, ooh, just chase down the centaur and sack him immediately. I think that's it. That's another floor. So we are now at the earliest that the lair can appear. And while we have not found the lair yet, we will hopefully find it to soon enough. Ooh, I can wear robes. Certainly I can wear a crude one. Wonder what it does. Eh, it's not bad. Invocable invisibility is certainly a nice talent, but I can't exactly afford to train invocations. It's it's a side grade that I don't want in bad enough to go for it. Turn off spellcasting. It's not raising my ability nearly fast enough. And you can go ahead and ditch some of these items that I'm never going to use. Okay, moving on. Okay, interesting. We're just going to javelin down the lot of you. And with any luck, some of you will die. If not, oh well. Large rock on the priest. That's a good situation. Let's just start pummeling them all to death. Seriously? Nothing edible anymore? Fine. We're just going to sacrifice whatever is here and then eat a ration or something just to stay off hunger. I, I want to get my, my piety up faster. Yeah, see, if I had been worried about preserving piety... Can't close doors while held in a net. You know what? I'm just going to run away. And when I'm satisfied that I'm far enough away, quiver rocks and then start killing you. Stand by the edge of the door, pummel things into oblivion, sacrifice their corpses. Cool. And now with all my added food, I will eat that instead. Okay, let the dogs come into a narrow hallway. There's a groom behind them. We can totally drain the lot of these guys, so that's the plan. Two shots ought to do it. Nope, groom now has uh, ability to hit me, so more draining is necessary. Quaff heal wounds. And do I know Berserk Rage? Berserk. This would be a good time for it. I vastly overestimated just how much Berserk would help. I forgot that you need to Berserk at the beginning of your health pull for it to matter. That was my mistake. Still, Klug did really darn well, um, all things considered. I apparently have had an Ogre Wizard do much better, but whatever. Uh, this is definitely a build I will try again in the future. Uh, although Ugg makes me curious, let me check check up on Ugg at, what, the 50th position on the list? Here. It took me 49 minutes to run Ugg that far, and it took me 31 minutes to run Klug this far. 10,000 turns, 15,000 turns. Hmm. I don't remember how I did it, but apparently it's possible for me to get an Ogre Wizard going. I like that this build that I've run so far with the Ogre seems as workable as it does. I have no doubt that I could make it work at least through the lair. Like, here I admittedly, I didn't have to fight the dogs when I did. I didn't have to be at half health when I started fighting them. The HP pool makes a lot of the stuff that would be lethal less lethal. And if you're willing to go full out Berserker, your aptitudes are at least as good as a troll's. So, yeah, 
uh, not quite as decent as a Minotaur in terms of versatility and amount of armor you can put on. So it's something I will consider and uh, potentially run again in the future. Uh, we'll see what happens. Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time.